Hello everyone, I'm Scott Papa, member of Team Discraft. Welcome to a pro video clinic on the basics of the disc golf throw. So we're going to be talking about throwing a golf disc today. Now the interesting thing is you've thrown discs all the time, you've been out on the beach playing catch with your friends, but that, while a lot of fun, is very different than throwing a golf disc. The disc that you're playing catch with is larger and aerodynamically set up so that it's more understable, which means that it actually wants to turn away from how you're throwing it, um, rather than a golf disc where when you throw it, it actually is overstable and wants to turn in a right to left for a right-handed player. With a golf disc, you're going to be doing something different. Instead of throwing from your body, you're actually going to be turning that body just like this. Now you're on this really nice 90 degree plane in opposition to where you're throwing. With a catch disc, I'd be throwing there. But now with a golf disc, I'm actually going to be throwing there and utilizing my entire body to come through. It's a very different thing. It's a very different disc. And that's how we're going to get the different power. Okay, so now we've got your body pointed in the right direction. We know that instead of throwing this way, we're going to be throwing that way. So we're going to be coming across our body. You are about to endeavor on one of the most awkward things you've ever done, and that's actually throw a golf disc. It's a very unusual way to move your body, and it's, it's really kind of awkward at first, but we're going to make it really simple because we're going to tell you something that you've done all your life that's basically like throwing a golf disc, and that's mowing the lawn. That's right. If you ever mowed a lawn, right? You start up those gas lawn mowers. What do you do? You reach down, that mower's down there, and you're pulling. You're pulling, pulling. This is the basics to a golf throw. I know it doesn't look like it, but trust me, it works. Let's take that lawn mower now. We're going to put it up on the table. All right? You still with me? Okay, good. So now that on, on the table, you're pulling it. You want to start it, and sure enough, all of a sudden that rope breaks. Pull, motion through, rope breaks. Folks, that's a golf throw right there. Just right there. You, you're coming back, you've got your body here going, it pulls through, boom. You are on your way. All you have to do is know how to mow the lawn. So we're going to talk now about the positions your body is going to go through during a successful golf throw. The first thing I want you to do, let's get loosened up, okay? Nothing ever comes from being stiff. So I want you to get loose. I want your knees bending. I want you bending at the hips and I want you to feel loose, okay? Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start just kind of swiveling on our hips, okay? Swivel, feel how loose that is. Feel how your arms are nice and, nice and loose there. All right, now you're gonna reach back with this disc, okay? You reach back, oh, now. Look at what your opposite arm is doing. It's turning away from you. That's good. We want that back there. Now you're at the start of the throw. Okay. We're going to come through. As we come through, your hip starts leading in and turning around. The elbow, notice my elbow now, it goes from straight and what's what we call a break. This elbow is breaking down. That elbow breaks through first, comes around. You're going to release the disc here and follow through. You're gonna follow through, okay? If you don't follow through, you're gonna lose all your speed. If you come through and stop right here, you're just aiming that disc, you're not throwing. Imagine you're a baseball player. You don't see the great baseball players get up there with a bat and go, yes, and hit it out of the park. No, 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 that's called a bunt. It goes about three feet. Same thing with a golf disc, okay? If you just stop right there, you've lost so much power. Get that disc, release it, and follow through. Be smooth, let your body get through it all. Not only will it go further, but your body's gonna last a lot longer too. To get a great throw, you're gonna to wanna to keep it level. Anytime you get off level, uh, you start losing some distance and you lose accuracy, the disc doesn't go where you want. How can you keep those discs level? The easiest way is to remember one simple thing. Your wrist wants to follow angle of your forearm. So if you're going up and getting ready to throw and your arm's down here, guess what? 
it's going to probably throw out on that angle because it's really difficult to actually throw down here and turn that wrist up. As a pro, I make mistakes all the time. As a wise man once said though, the only thing that you want to remember about mistakes is learn from them. That's the best part, learn from your mistakes. We're going to talk about now some of the mistakes you're going to make. You're going to do it, we all do it, so here are some common ones. The first thing that you quite often do is you'll see that disc, what we call hyzering out too much. It's going to go up and instead of going straight away from you, for a right-handed thrower, it goes out and then goes right to left. Here's a couple reasons why that's going to happen. First off, this thing. It's your evil twin brother bad arm. It does nothing but get in the way if you don't let it get out of the way. When you're turning like this and twisting, sometimes you forget to get that arm out of the way. And so that arm gets here. Now what happens is you're bringing the disc back and it can only go underneath it. See the angle that my shoulders are at now? There's only one way that that disc is going to be released and that's straight up. What happens when the disc is straight up? It's like, a, it's like an airplane wing. It gets that wind under it, ready for takeoff, <whistles> up in the air, boom, and down. Kills your distance, kills your accuracy because not only did it not go straight, but it went way over left. So let's get that arm out of the way, keep it flat. The other thing you're gonna do, you're not gonna move your weight right. Ah, it's just like anything, you get back, you're ready, I'm gonna throw this as far as possible. So you pull back, oh man, all that weight is on that back leg. And before you get the weight transferred to the front leg, you go, ah, and you throw. Once again, weight on the back leg, shoulders like this, whoo, it's a moonshot. So get that, utilize that power. Get that power back here, but before you throw, that power and weight should transfer up here. I'll tell you right now, my most successful throws, all of my weight is on the front foot. I am pivoting, I am coming through, and all that happens with that back foot is that it just kind of pops up and I end up standing on it in a real cool style, as a matter of fact. I know you're thinking, do I have problem with my arm speed? Am I coming through this way or am I letting my arm go out? How fast am I really going? I've got the tip for you. It's called the towel test. Haha, <laughs> what I want you to do is get a towel. Now your typical golf towel or kitchen towel, whatever. Get a towel and just, just kind of hold on to it. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna go ahead and pretend that instead of throwing a disc, you're gonna throw a towel, okay? Get back there and let her rip, just like on a regular throw. Now, what you're going to be listening for is do I have a consistent sound to the towel or is it kind of quiet and then right at the end I hear a lot of noise? If when you're coming through here you hear a consistent sound, you're probably just letting that arm go away from your body. What that means is the arm isn't accelerating at all. It's maintaining one single speed all the way through. Like I said, it might be a good speed but it's not going to be a great speed. What you want, you want to hear that difference. You want to hear that snap. That means that that elbow is breaking and right at the end, wow, you're cracking that whip. So let's see, do you have this or do you have this? Get that whip going. Now you're ready to go. Something you may consider is, hey, is it the technique that is uh, hurting me or do I have the right discs? Remember, you're just getting into it. You're just learning how to throw these discs, so you don't want to have discs that are too overstable for you, okay? Too hard to control. There are some discs that I would uh, consider good for the beginning player. Looking for a putter that you can actually throw? Try the Focus. It's a great disc. It's just barely overstable, just enough, so that when you throw it, it's going to keep a nice straight line. As far as the mid-range goes, you can't go wrong with one of the greatest mid-ranges ever made. In fact, probably the best mid-range right now, the Buzz. That disc is going to be with you forever once you start throwing it. And as far as the driver goes, try the Avenger SS, a great entry-level disc that also, as you learn to throw it and you get better and more speed, becomes a great turnover driver that stays in your bag. So now, you've got the basics of the disc golf throw. 
let's go ahead and go back over some of the key points so you'll remember them as you're getting ready to go out there and try some points on for size. First off, we're keeping loose. Remember, loose knees, loose hips, hips that want to swivel, body that wants to swivel. Let's keep that off arm out of the way. As you're coming through, don't forget, we want to bend at the elbow. Break that elbow so that that disc stays close to the body. None of this out here, right? We're keeping it close to the body, and as it's coming through, we're generating all that speed. Don't stop there. We're coming through, we're following all the way through so that we don't stop our energy. That is a golf disc throw. We're not worried about run-ups now. We're not worried about getting crazy. We're just worried about getting the initial golf disc throw down. And in all honesty, it's as easy as starting a lawnmower or snapping a towel. So go out there, have some fun with these tips. We'll see you out on the course. Wait, hold on a second. I saw you talking to that guy over there. Says he's Scott Papa. What? Hat? Gray hair? No, no, no. We know who the real Scott Papa is. Here you go, right here. Woohoo! The stuff he was teaching you, good ideas. I agree with it. All good, gonna get you throwing faster. But he forgot to tell you something very important. Your body is used to releasing the disc at a certain point because your mind is telling it, hey, at this point, release disc, go straight. Well, now, now that you're snapping through there, your arm is moving faster. That point that your body was used to throwing and that point that your mind was telling you let go, well now, because your arm is moving faster, it's over there. That means that the disc is gonna go over that way to begin with. Don't worry about it, it's okay, it's part of the learning curve. The mind will catch up and pretty soon you'll be releasing at the right time. He didn't teach you bad things, it's just that you gotta learn, you're gonna be releasing sooner because the arm is moving faster. Keep working on it, it's okay. And stay away from guys with gray hair, jeez.